Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching episodes five and six of Ash vs. Evil Dead. What do you think of the last two episodes? Gory as always, the show moves very fast. So I'm excited to see, I mean, we have half a season left and then yeah. we're done for good. Yeah, we're so close to the end. It doesn't feel real. And I'm sure we're gonna get there so quickly. Yeah. The way that it ended off, Ash meeting his son or twin or whatever you wanna consider clone. it. Clone, yeah. So I think from this point forward, as fast as Ash vs. Evil Dead moves, it's gonna move even faster. Yeah. So I'm excited. Me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, Let's get into the episodes. Yeah, so there you he is. Careful. Yeah, lady, I don't speak French. <laughs> Come on over here, little kid. That's a candy dispenser. Oh, wow. Look inside the tiny black holes and pick one. Does he have a chainsaw hand already? I mean, it's not a chainsaw, but it's not a hand. Holy heck, saw, that's a little me. Look at the eyes and the chin and that little soft. <laughs> Shoot it! No. Oh, he won't kill him. Nobody screws Ashley J. Williams like Ashley J. That sounded so much better in my head. Oh. I want this kid alive. <laughs> you might have no choice, Ash. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, I'm not just some psycho running around with a chainsaw. What? Relax, that little run can't get through this. Oh, his little chains. Oh! Uh, uh, that poor hitchhiker. She's dead. Give me that. Hey. Uh. Keep your hands off of my boomstick. You got that? Oh, he can fit through that. Oh, or the whole door. Oh, no. Oh, good. He forgot his toy. Lady, just leave him. They're stuck together. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> what the hell are we doing? I'm going to do my mind. Do not put your back against a door again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tie him up with this. Yeah. Oh, her leg. It won't be the most fucked up thing that ever happens to me. <laughs> what even El Brujo couldn't? Brujo? That pendejo thinks he can save his little Pablito. Huh. There's gotta be a way. Ow! <laughs> He's on the roof. Uh oh. Oh shit! Damn, they didn't put bulletproof glass up there. Oh! <laughs> that works. You're next to die! <laughs> oh no! Brandy, you gotta fight back. Check on this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. They're connected. That's she a revelation. Just, yeah, it just needs to fuck up her leg. Hot <laughs> tamale! <laughs> oh. Damn, Kelly! Ooh. Oh shit. Why was his uncle there? He just like teleported, but with the dagger. Hey, Pablo, I'm right here. The book's mostly gone. Off his skin? Yeah. This looks like his uh, El Brujo's garage, mm -hmm. right? Am I dead again? Oh. oh, she's back. Your journey is far from over. Come on. That can't be good. Just listen to this poor girl. I know, yeah, they should get out, get disconnected, and then Ash can go back in. Let's see what else the lioness has in her evil den. Oh, there you go. Now she can leave. That writing looks awfully familiar. It looks like the uh, cellar to the store. Mm. WTF. Was she there the whole time? Making a daughter in the back of the Delta. Why is she so secret about this? Ruby's been surveilling my ass for decades. 
What a scary duck. <laughs> oh, jeez. Lady, you should just leave. She's gonna go hunting herself? Is a void between realms that I have managed to match from evil. I could have sent Cobra, but I needed your attention. <laughs> so he sent a naked woman? Only with the strength of a brujo, you can harness its power. Ooh, he can harness the power? Could he become like a super strong Pablo? Oh, she is trying to leave. You have a gun, just shoot out a window. No. Oh, you're screwed, lady. Why waste a shot on the duck? Oh, well, man. she's gone. Oh, just a trail of blood. Oh, Heidi. Hey there, little guy. <laughs> we should play. <laughs> <laughs> you little son of a Oh, damn. Time to put baby to bed. You have to mix your own blood with the correct bowl. Damn. I've become a brujo like you. Even stronger. El brujo especial. Oh, special Wait, brujo? Wait, isn't that the name of a beer? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Man, he just needs to pick the right bowl. It's a lot of bowls though. I'm ready to become who I was born to be. <laughs> what the hell? Is he just like sliding? Where are you going? You are way too young to be going up there. What? Okay. Okay, no. I'll close my eyes and I'll count to ten. This little head gonna pop up? <gasps> what the f <laughs> He took control of her body? A bigger body. <laughs> oh god. This poor kid actor. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> this is so gross. Be strong, Pablito. Okay, so one bull's his, and then one is good, one is evil? Uh, I thought one good, one bull is good, two bulls bad. Oh. Oh! How deep was that? Jeez! Oh, it's not bad here. It's bad in real world. Give me my follow back, you fuck! <laughs> oh, fuck! Don't push it, Tiny Tim! Yeah! Oh. Dodge, and you got a strike. Want some, huh? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> tricky little bastard. <laughs> Just hit the body. Oh, that is so wrong in so many ways. Stop coming in and out. There you go. Oh my! Who comes up with this? Try and get out of this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god! He trapped him inside of a body with two bowling balls. Don't oh, see with your eyes, Pablito. It's just Come on, on you. Pablo. Gotta feel it. Pablo, you got this. I got this. Oh. Is that right? El brujo especial. He seems right. Oh, his body. No problem. No. Oh, oh <laughs> dang. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I thought I lost you for real this time. Where's Ash? Wow, okay. <laughs> that was amazing. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Something especial. <laughs> Kelly's like, um. Ah. Uh. Now it's better? Mm hmm. Stay the fuck away from Ruby. You mean Miss Previtt? No, Ruby. Fuck with my Pablo. Fuck with me. And I'm done being fucked with Ruby. Kelly versus Ruby? Nice entrance. Let's keep the trunk closed. Your Miss Previtt is full of C-R-A-P-P. -P. Brandy. P-P. <laughs> Do we really need all this yelling? Who are you? I have no idea what he's talking about. Let me jog your memory. 
Ash, this Ash. doesn't look good at all. Little monster, right here. Mama. You, what the? Did he eat the whole body? Hey, who at me? Yeah, should've. <laughs> Kidnapping a defenseless child, a new low Ooh. even for you. Ash, this was a terrible plan. I've always told you the truth, even if it sounds creepy and weird. Dad, get it! All right, she's on board. You know, this is the first time you ever call me dad. <laughs> and Ash just gave the baby right back to Ruby. I don't know why he would try to get the cops involved. Is it like evolving? Yeah, he knows where you live. Oh, it's Kelly. What a lovely surprise. <laughs> no talking. That was for Pablo getting possessed. <laughs> Sorry, Ruby. This one's for me. Jeez. If only Kelly had like Kandarian bullets. Oh. Shoot me all you want, you stupid girl. Forget I'm immortal. Oh, she knows. That was quick healing. That's a little fear. Don't you just love a good surprise? <laughs> Damn, Kelly. Burns. Doesn't it? Hopefully there's not like a teenage ash that comes down. Don't start a fight you can't finish. Let's go. Kelly, oh, you should have brought some backup. Who's watching them? I don't know. Until the heat dies down, no lights. Sounds like someone's hidden from the cops before. I don't have to answer that. <laughs> if that ass end starts to skid, you just gotta give a it little a little gas. gas. Father-daughter moments. The trunk thing, might have raised some eyebrows. You gotta eat. This is so much better toasted. <laughs> no. Oh, maybe it's more, um. Oh, nights? Yeah. It's him. It's really him. Yeah. Dalton sent for us, but he's disappeared. Come on, Em. Don't touch any of my stuff. Does Ash know what happened to Dalton? I don't think so. Another night came to Elk Grove looking for you. He never came back either. Oh yeah. The <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> Died eating spam. He left a bunch of ancient scribbles on my cellar wall. We might be able to end this nightmare. Lady, you're yanking my crank. <laughs> my daughter is on Evil's shortlist and she's the best cook this house ever had. <laughs> best cook? Just <laughs> took a pop tart. <laughs> Come on, Kelly. Oh. I've been waiting for this moment a long time. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. 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 oh, and she lost the dagger. It wasn't a bad plan. It was a terrible plan. <laughs> well, he's dead. Grenade? Kelly. That might buy her some time. This Kimasabi already has a Tonto. He's called Ruby. I guess Succubus was taken. <laughs> you don't have the book? I said hypothetically. <laughs> Come on. Okay, it's true. <laughs> Take us to the Deadlands. Doesn't sound like a very happy place. It's where the Dark Ones have been imprisoned. Ooh. Man, you guys are such a buzzkill. Let's get wasted. Just getting high and drunk. That's the necklace he was oh, wearing, right? Yeah. Maybe. Oh. Naked lady. Dad? You just left and didn't tell her? <laughs> He's still a new dad. Have you seen my dad? Can he? Yeah, you're supposed to have, oh. You can see things. I gotta roll if he needs me. Okay. <laughs> How would Ash be in danger though? He's surrounded by a bunch of people willing to die for him. But at least he died battling evil. Uh, actually he picked a fight with my 75 year old dad. <laughs> And lost. He may have found a way to open the rift. I've been in rifts before and it never ends well. Yeah, don't rift. Lead us in eternal battle against evil. Eternal battle? Yeah. I'm 50 or <laughs> something, you know, years old. <laughs> it's okay. That's my trusty sidekick. I think these guys flunked Sumerian 101. <laughs> Is that supposed to be quiet? <laughs> Is Ruby in pieces? She somehow isn't in pieces. Can I get the dagger back? 
Oh, she is in pieces. How long is that gonna take to heal? What the fuck? <laughs> She's immortal. It's <laughs> collecting itself. Can you just take one of her limbs? Don't you ever shut the fuck up. <laughs> Damn, Kelly, you're too slow. She already fixed herself. Oh. You have another grenade? Leave now and I might let you live. We want revenge. And I ain't leaving till I get mine. Works for me. Damn, Kelly. Uh oh. Are you opening this? Gondar. Oh my god, the rift. I don't know if you want this open. Get the hell away from that wall. You had to pick today to learn a new language? <laughs> All of a sudden, I just knew. Did he pick the right one? I don't know. Take a break. Crack a few champs. One of us should go first. That's not what I was talking about. You're right, Marcus. Marcus, you're going to get obliterated. Bye, Marcus. I feel like he's going to last one second. Just going to spit him back out. No, that can't be Marcus. It's like they already possessed him. Oh. Oh, I thought she was going to get stabbed right there. Oh. <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> no. Why did she do that? I hated you least of all, Kelly. Why does this feel like she's really dead? I feel like she's really dead. Something's not right. I just got a bad feeling. You ain't the only one. Kelly can't be dead. What did you see? And this is not Marcus. We knights stick together, right? Marcus? Oh no. You're literally sticking together. Oh! Ash! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Can't just kill the guy? <laughs> Back off, circus freak! These knights got fucked! Join us! I'm good, I joined the Elks! I still can't believe that Kelly's dead. No, I don't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Ruby, the rift has been opened. I have a vessel. The darkness is in her. Kelly's gonna come back evil? I'm here. No! The Dark Ones know about the rift. Come on, Pablo. Your brujo especial. Get it! Yes! Time to suck a little salt. <laughs> Am I the only one fighting this asshole? <laughs> you sign me, you son of a bitch. Oh! I cut it at the mouth. Is she the only one that survived? Yeah. They're all dead. Welcome to my world, lady. Wish I could stay, but I have to get back to my lovely daughter. We saw that other girl, the blonde girl, the friend of the daughter, trapped in like the yeah. wall. I wonder if Kelly is trapped and they can get Kelly's soul back into Kelly's body now that it's healed. Yeah. Demon fighter's work is never done. So I've heard. What is that smell? Pop-tarts? You want one? Does a pope shit in the woods? Does a pope shit in the woods? <laughs> Good work, Kelly. This changes everything. Yes, it does. No! I hate this. <laughs> All right, that was episode five and six of Ash vs. Evil Dead. What'd you think? Crazy. Definitely crazy. <laughs> Some of the grossest, I think, honestly, what happened to that hitchhiker was like so disturbing to me. The things that they come up with are insane. I mean, I don't think anything so far has topped the morgue scene 
from season True. two. But that's just so insane. Like that's a thousand out of a hundred. What happened in episode five is still like a hundred out of a hundred. I mean, the fact that the baby was crawling in and out of a headless woman and Ash ended up defeating the baby by jamming a bowling ball in the head socket, whatever, and the vagina socket. I was like, where are you going with this? <laughs> like to, to cram him in there between two bowling balls and that's how the fight ends. I don't know how the hell someone comes up with that. I want to know, like, do these writers, do they just get like Thrown super in prison? high? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I figure they finish writing a script and then they go straight to jail. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, episode five was wild. I mean, primarily with the fight scene between the baby, yeah. that poor woman, she should have just shot the glass with the shotgun and got out of there. Yeah, I liked her a lot. She wasn't in the show very much, but I thought she was great. Like I actually really liked her. So I wish she would have stayed around longer. Not a good idea knocking out Ash and then going out on your own and then not shooting the glass to get out. And like one of her first shots or her first shot was to just shoot the freaking duck. Well, I mean, she was nervous. She's never experienced this before. I'm sure she just needed to get that thing to shut up. Yeah, but man, she got herself killed. I know, that was a bummer though. I mean, she was like suffering up there, watching her boyfriend, husband just get literally eaten. Yeah. Just pieces. So RIP, I liked her. RIP for sure. But man, the little baby Ash was powerful. And I definitely did not notice the chainsaw hand. Yeah, and it was literally like he... Grows it. Yeah, and it did work. It no, worked through the door. Yeah, no, it's a functional chainsaw hand that just like organically grows on him. Yeah. And he was incredibly strong and fast and could fly around the room as like a little baby. And we saw, I think, a glimpse in episode six of him maybe growing up like very rapidly, I yeah. assume. I don't know if it will be like Ash age or if it will be like teenage age, you know, like a 18 year old or something like that. Yeah. So, I mean, any bigger, like how the hell are you gonna stop that thing? Imagine maybe like Ash in the first Evil Dead, like that age. That age, yeah. Which would be cool if they like CGI or like DH Ash or something like that. But that little baby is a terror. And unfortunately, Ash brought it right back to Ruby. I don't know what the hell he was thinking. <laughs> One, getting the cops involved, but also like that thing is terrifying. Like, of course it's gonna eat its way out. Of he, course. He just ate the whole body. So yeah. it just looked like he was just trapped in there, covered in blood. Yeah. It looked so bad. Yeah, pretty much worst case scenario. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Ruby got the baby back. Now it's evolving. And Pablo and Kelly, like these two episodes were mostly about Pablo and Kelly, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, that was so brutal watching Kelly struggling, seeing Pablo suffering. Yeah. Obviously, I think Brandy did the right thing. She was just trying to save them by stabbing him, even though Kelly just kept saying like, don't, don't, don't. I don't think there was any other way around it. No, I think it absolutely helped because it's not like she stabbed him in the heart or something, like stabbed him off on the shoulder and then that's what triggered him getting transported to his brujo yeah. or to his uncle into that other shadow realm or whatever. Right, that was like hidden from evil. Right. I honestly am still not convinced that he picked the right bowl. It's hard to tell. I mean, there's so much that I want to assume yeah. in this show. I want to assume that he did pick the right bowl because all of the markings went away. He's been totally fine this whole time, but it seems like his visions are like working against him because when he had the vision about Ash to be like, oh no, Ash is in trouble. Well, he wasn't in trouble until Pablo came and opened up the portal. So it's like he manifested that trouble by just going there. Right. And then he opened up the portal, which I mean, I don't know how like simple it must be to understand that that is a terrible idea. Right. It's almost like his body is like still working for evil. Yeah, I don't know exactly what that means for Pablo. I hope he's good and I hope that he's the supreme, supreme brujo. <laughs> brujo especial yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which I'm gonna have to look up if that is a beer. <laughs> if it is, we should drink it on like episode 10. <laughs> I don't like beer. But 
the whole Pablo with the uh, trailer anyways, like him trying to get in evil Pablo was terrifying as it was. Uh, we see him making this decision and then he comes out of it and finally. Oh my God. It was like so climactic and anticlimactic. <laughs> Like we've been waiting for this for three seasons almost. And they finally have this like very sincere, passionate kiss, but it's so one-sided by Kelly, which is so hilarious because any situation, Pablo, this would have been the only thing he cares about, but it was so funny for him to be like, oh my God, Ash. And she's like, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, I love that moment, but after watching episode six, I feel like so hurt or betrayed like that was such a beautiful moment for Kelly primarily, but then we see Kelly potentially die. I mean, there's really not that many episodes left to save her. So it's like, was that the final sweet moment that Kelly has? No. Was that fight or was the kiss with Pablo and then the fight against Ruby? I'm choosing to believe Kelly is not dead. I think that Kelly is trapped and she will be back. That's what I'm hoping for. I mean, cause they showed us that person being trapped in that other realm. Brandy's friend. Brandy's friend. They had to show us that for a reason. Mm -hmm. The fact that someone's still there. And then the fact that Kelly's body is totally healed and functional and that someone was already transported into Kelly's body. Like mm -hmm. you have to be able to connect the dots that they could find Kelly's trapped soul in the other realm yeah. and then bring it back into healthy body Kelly. That's what I'm choosing to believe. I love Kelly. I want her and Pablo to grow old together. <laughs> still with Ash. <laughs> yeah, Ash doesn't have too much more old to go, but because he's, <laughs> he's 50, 50 or <laughs> some years old, so. <laughs> but that's what I think. I think that Kelly's gonna be okay. And that's why I was not sad because she's gonna be okay. Yeah, I'm still in like absolute shock. If this show ends, and they just like kill evil Kelly and that's it. Like, I don't know what I'll do, but I'll do something. <laughs> we'll be very disappointed. We'll be writing a letter. A letter to, to Bruce Campbell. <laughs> I mean, that was a badass fight that Kelly had against Ruby. I was excited to see it because I feel like of everyone, Kelly and Ruby kind of always had that connection. Yeah. And it was the old Ruby before we got the evil Ruby back. So to kind of see that come to a head, just like Kelly said, like she needed that for revenge for her parents, for everyone else. At a certain point, I didn't know what I was gonna hope for. I thought maybe when she got the grenade off, that maybe she could like go grab her leg and like run away or something so that she doesn't have a leg still or something. But once it got to the point where she was fighting a fully healed Ruby yeah. on like one leg, I yeah. was like, this is done. Yeah, it's not a fair fight anymore. So hopefully they can get Kelly saved again, but this portal is open. And the first thing that came out of it was just terrifying. It was so gross too. Just like all the boils and everything on it. But it honestly, it reminded me of the thing. Oh yes, yes, yeah. Just like how it was like. It was multiple people combined. Yeah, together, like, right? it, yeah, it was just kind of like encompassing everything that it could. Yeah. So it kind of reminded me of that. No, that's a great comparison. Cause yeah. I mean, that was a beast of a Deadite. Like the fact that it was essentially almost three people. I mean, it was tearing through them. Yeah. So they needed three people to defeat that one thing. Like if they go into this other realm, it's gonna be horrific. I mean, that guy lasted half a second or yeah. maybe like time doesn't exist and he was there for like 10,000 years or something. I assume so. I feel like it's something probably similar to when Kelly was like under at the Brujo's ranch. Oh, right. Wasn't like a lot of time passing. God, I thought. I don't remember. I mean, it, it makes sense. Yeah, I think they have messed with time before. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, for sure, especially with going back in time and yeah. going back to the future and right. whatever, they've gone all around time. So <laughs> we got some like solid father-daughter moments. Pop-Tarts. The Pop-Tarts, better toasted. <laughs> Even though don't, I don't toast my pop -tarts. You don't, I forgot where that came up. It came up in Cobra Kai, I think. Oh really? Yeah, where I was like, people actually toast their Pop-Tarts and there was a lot of comments. Yeah, I think most people toast their Pop-Tarts. Yeah, I thought I was in the majority of people that don't <laughs> pop, pop, pop their Pop-Tarts. Pop toast their Pop-Tarts. But apparently I'm in the minority. <laughs> but uh, Ash loves it. She's the best cook in the house. You know, they had some great sweet moments there. And the way this ends, I mean, they're in trouble. I mean, they are there with Evil Kelly without any idea that it's Evil Kelly. Yeah. I mean, she clearly seems very intelligent. Um, this woman that's taken over Kelly's body, essentially by not coming in hot. 
Right. Like, she is not raising any red flags, anything. Like, she had the dagger and then she just gave it to Ash. They're not even kind of suspicious. No, I mean, it could be, like, last second thing. All of a sudden, Evil Kelly shows up and then ruins everything. Right. So, horrible situation. They have Evil Kelly. They have an evil portal that's open. Ruby's at full strength. Evil Ash is growing faster and bigger and stronger. So this is just going to be absolute chaos. We only have four episodes left and everything is a nightmare. I feel like it's gonna be full throttle till the end of the series. Oh yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else we have reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.